Hey, do any of you guys know anything about trading cards? Uh, nope. Can't really say I do. Not since I discovered girls. I might know a few things. Why? Well, there was an incident at the Venture Compound yesterday, and well, Dean Shoebox of collectible trading cards kind of got hit by some stray flame from the fire. On Pandora, we keep our shoes in fireproof lockers. Yeah, even when I'm done with testing, the flame throwers are off. Until the next test, that is. Well, I figure I got about three or four days to replace them before Dean notices they're missing, but I don't know where to start. What kind of cards are we talking about here? Baseball? Wacky packages? Faces of Mirth? In the animated series? Ghostbusters? Dinosaur Rampage? Any of those? Well, according to Dean's database, it's a full set of alien invasion cards. Oh, boy. That's gonna be difficult. Why? Alien Invasion Cards, published in 1964, were a series of 255 collectible cards that depicted a fictional alien invasion of Earth. Due to their lurid tableaus and violent imagery, they were quickly yanked off the market. As of 2012, only a few hundred intact sets are known to have survived. Oh man, I had a few alien invasion cards when I was a kid. Practically had to trade away my bike to get them. I think my dad had a few alien invasion cards. Not sure. I'm gonna have to ask him when I get back home. So you're saying I'm screwed? Probably, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Wait. You said 255 cards, right? Yes. I could swear Dean's database listed 256 cards. It's probably a typo. Have you seen the way teenagers type these days? Yeah. How old is Dean supposed to be, by the way? Hey, Brock. I got in touch with some fellow card enthusiasts. By which he means dweebs. And I think I've found enough stray alien invasion cards to cobble together a full set. Should I even ask how much this is going to cost? Let's just say you really want to keep winning tonight, and maybe the next couple nights too. I would suggest eBay, but those guys can like put prices on anything that's sold. Right. One more thing. I think you guys are wrong about card 256. I don't think that's possible. I checked on the wiki and uh, yeah, there's nothing about card 256. Well, even the checklist card only lists 255 cards, Brock. Yeah, but check it out. I asked Dean about card 256, and he told me it was a secret, ultra-rare card, never intended to be released to the public. Did it have a title? Like, Eating a Kitten, or Flaming Livestock? The ending? Extinction of Humanity? Any of that? Yeah. The Wrath of Uranus. Oh, come on! The Wrath of Uranus? Isn't anyone gonna make a joke here? How's it going on the alien invasion card hunt? Well, not bad. Those collector friends of yours turned out to be big fans of Doc's old cartoon show, so I was able to trade some model sheets and outtake reels for most of the cards. Now all I gotta do is track down that Wrath of Uranus card. I still don't think it exists. But if you insist on following a dead end, you might want to contact the man who painted the cards. Woody the Weirdo Wahlberg is still alive? Wait, didn't the internet say he died in 1995? If you call squatting in a shack in the Adirondacks living, I'll send the GPS coordinates to your plane. Thanks. Why are you helping me anyway? I enjoy raising expectations. <laughs> hey, Brock! Be careful out there! I hear the wrath of your age can be pretty explosive! Hey, at least I'm trying! Looking a little distracted tonight, Brock. Well, you would be too if your head was filled with blood soaked visions of Uranus. Good night, folks! I'm guessing the visit to the alien invasion artist didn't go well. You could say that. Turns out the poor SOB's been getting bombarded with telepathic images of an impending alien invasion for 50 years. Ooh, I hate when that happens. All those cards he painted were his way of sending out a warning. But everyone just thought he was a lunatic. Color me dumb, but how do you know he wasn't? Because just before I could ask him about the wrath of Uranus, he grabbed my hand, pulled out a gun, and shot himself. 
Now somehow I've got his telepathic crap floating around in my head. Plutonian spider monsters, Venusian acid bombs, and worst of all, the oozing terrors of Uranus. Speaking of the oozing terrors of Uranus... So what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna talk to Doc when I get home. I think he's got an old telepathy tracking helmet somewhere in the lab. Okay. That's new. So, any more terrifying visions of Uranus? Non-stop. You know it's Uranus, not Uranus, right? Maybe here on Earth, but on Pandora, we use its original, funnier pronunciation. And we've also added a P to Venus. Uh, some people still use that pronunciation. So how's that tell what's his helmet? Telepathy helmet. Doc dug it out of storage, but like most of his junk, it's a little broken, so he's fixing it. Time's running out. Vision's getting worse? Yeah. Doc thinks there's a chance my head's going to explode. Yikes! And there could be an alien invasion this weekend. So, about those invaders from Uranus. Don't you mean Uranus? Whatever. Should we all be stocking up on chocolate jimmies and toilet paper? I was gonna tell everyone back at the base, but I just wanted to see if it was still happening, or something came up. I don't know. Nah, Doc and I tracked the telepathic messages down to a Uranian agent in Tupelo. A little bastard was doing some long-term scouting for his alien warlords bouncing telepathic transmission back and forth about invasion plans and tactics. Since a year on Uranus is like 85 Earth years, they move pretty slowly. Well, damn, that's slow. So what'd you do about it? Well, I persuaded the punk that it was time to go home. Not before we had him send out a message to his masters. I'm nearer so we'll fuck up Uranus. If you screw with Earth, we'll screw with Uranus? One wrong move and you can kiss Uranus goodbye? Something something butt joke? Well, actually it was Doc who said, Tell your leaders that humans will never bow down to Uranus. <laughs> and then we broke down giggling. What about Dean and his trading cards? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that after the whole invasion crap and all that. Well, before all that telepathic crap wore off, I painted a new version of Car 256 and had a company print out a batch of new cards. Dean never knew the difference. Check it out. The Wrath of Uranus. Is it just me, or is there a lot of brown in that picture? Yeah, that's probably why it was never released. 